Welcome, I am Jos from Nextcloud. In this video I will walk through the upgrade from a Nextcloud 16 installation to the latest Nextcloud 17 and then I will show you around a little bit. Let me start by logging in. As you might know Nextcloud always does a number of security and performance tests. Now on this local instance this will give errors about database performance and security. Of course when you run a Nextcloud in production you should always address these problems. They all have a link to the documentation next to them. Nextcloud tells you there's a new version available, Nextcloud 1605. Two apps don't have an update yet, uh, the other apps do. So let's go and update. So here we are in the updater, I just click start update. So here we are, uh, we will now go for the web updater, which will not take long. And here we are in Nextcloud 1605. Now, we're now going to do the update to 17, which I will speed through. And welcome to Nextcloud 17. So the first new feature I want to show is Nextcloud text. Text is a distraction free rich text editor. So if you sometimes wish you had a way to just edit meeting notes or sort your thoughts without all the overhead of a whole word processor, you will love this app. Text can do the basics like bold and bullets and a variety of other basic things, but it keeps it simple. On the right is the usual sidebar. You can see I shared this file with Christine. Let me switch to my notes file, which is also shared with her account. And let me log in as Christine in the second window, so you can see what shared editing looks like. Now her account is protected by two-factor authentication, so now I have to enter a second factor to log in. Sadly, I do not have the app installed for this account, Otherwise I could have just clicked approve in the notification on my mobile phone. Now I have to enter the code. So here we are and you see both users can see each other and edit the file together. Let's show the sidebar again. Here you can comment on files. Notifications make sure you don't miss anything. And when you have Nextcloud Talk installed, you can also chat and have a video call. For each of the conversations around the shared file, a talk room is created, so you can also discuss it from the talk app or the mobile apps. This sidebar is available for all file viewers, including the online office solutions from Collabora and OnlyOffice. Besides Nextcloud text, this release comes with many improvements related to security. Let me first show you our new remote wipe feature. This allows you to clean the data from individual devices as a user. The system administrator can wipe all devices from a particular user. This is useful when, for example, an employee leaves the company or a guest account is no longer used. The final feature I want to show in this video are our improvements to SecureView. So SecureView makes it possible to block downloading of files by recipients of share links or by guest users while still giving them access to the documents. So what that means is they can view them and maybe even edit the files, but they cannot download them. And the documents can be protected if you want by watermarks. And I will show you what this looks like here. So I have a test file here. And when I click the file, you see 
that there are watermarks in here. Uh, they show the date, the time, and the user who accesses the file. The sidebar shows you that it has a tag confidential. So this file will show watermarks when the tag confidential is set, just like other Office files. Let me show you the configuration now. This is Collabor Online, but the same feature is available in OnlyOffice. So you see watermarking is enabled. The text can be configured. So the watermark is shown on files that are tagged with confidential or an invisible tag, old email attachments. So you can, for example, configure the Nextcloud Outlook add-in so that all files that are uploaded by the Outlook add-in will get this tag after a certain time, for example. Yeah, our workflow tools can be used to do this. And then if you are in the group guests, and of course guest accounts are in this group, you will also always see the watermark. Now you can also put the watermark on all shares or read only shares, or for example, download hidden shares. Yeah, so when a file is shared, but the downloading of it is blocked, then this would show the watermark on those files. And again, you know, the system tags. So this is separate for normal shares and link shares. This feature is used, for example, when you need a virtual data room. So this feature is particularly relevant for virtual data rooms. These are used by companies when they need to give third parties access to extremely sensitive data, like financial data, in case of a company that is getting bought or gets an investment. Or think of legal documents during a court case. Now, Nextcloud helps customers to set up such a virtual data room, which is designed to protect documents while still giving a select number of guests access to them. Now, our Outlook add-in supports a workflow for this, where email attachments, as well as the content, the body of the email, are uploaded to Nextcloud to be kept secure. So after you write an email and maybe add attachments, the recipient will get a link in the email instead of the text of the email. And if they have a guest account, they have to log into Nextcloud to the secure data room with two-factor authentication if that is enabled, and only then can they see the email that was sent to them. So this was a quick tour of some of the new features in Nextcloud 17. There is, of course, a lot more as always. Be sure to check out our website. And thank you for watching.